Namaste. I am Dr. Nischal, practicing as a dermatologist for nearly more than 16 years and the director at Nirma Skin and Hair Clinic, Vijayanagara, Bengaluru. What is paronychia? So whenever there is swelling or an infection around the nail plate, that is called as paronychia. So when this part of the tissue gets inflamed, red, whenever there is redness, swelling or pain, that is what is called as paronychia. So this paronychia sometimes is very painful. Sometimes a lot of people don't have any symptoms. Why is that? That's mainly whenever it's a bacterial infection, it is an acute process. It gives a lot of pain, swelling, first discharge. And whenever it is caused by the fungus, the swelling is slow to happen. It is over a period of time, people develop these changes and they recognize it. And whenever there is any damage around the nail plate, it can also affect the nail plate production. So many a times when people have paronychia, which is going for a longer duration, it can also actually damage the nail texture and the appearance. Why does this happen? See, it's an infection, but why is it happening? It does mainly because whenever the skin barrier is broken, then the infection chances are high. And why does it happen? One, it can happen because of repeated washing of the hand, using of a lot of detergent and not applying moisturizer. Because when we do like this, the skin barrier is broken and it's a good entry point for the bacteria or the fungus. Secondly, sometimes it's the job is like that. So probably people who are into a lot of service industry or people who are into food industry, they have this problem. So the simplest is person who is working in a hotel or people who are into massage therapy. So they wash their hands repeatedly. There is a lot of friction in this that can also damage the nail folds and the cuticle of the nail. Or it could be because of aggressive parlor procedures like manicure or pedicure. So whenever there is damage to the skin surrounding the nail plate or the cuticle, the chances of infections are high. So if there is an acute infection which is there for one or two days, we put people on antibiotics and the infection comes down. If there is an abscess or a collection of pus, then we need to drain it. If the reaction is for a longer duration, then probably it's fungal and we need to put people on antifungal tablets and antifungal drops. So main thing with regard to the paronychia is recognizing the cause. So if there is an external damage first, we need to treat that and then also treat the associated infection. And by preventing external damage, you can prevent paronychia.